Bye, loco. Paradise. Everything we eat can be grown here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think 90 something percent of our food comes from the mainland. And it yeah. costs fuel and transportation. And you gotta eat local. It's, that's me. Goat cheese. Puna goat cheese. That was puna goat cheese. So these are your your goats. That My you goats. I have a dairy and Curtis Cow. When did you start making the cheese? I've been making the cheese for about 30 years. And about 28 years ago, I wrote a grant, and the state gave me a grant to start the dairy. Um, could you find your product? I am at all the KTAs on the island, and also all the health food stores. What is the buy local challenge? The buy local challenge is find all local produce and eat all the local produce. So it's nice. This is the best, I think. They look straight, like me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott. I sell honey, uh, local honey, at the Hilo Market. I collect it all myself. I harvest it down in Kalapana. And I just try to sell it direct to the customer. I grow the Koha berry. Raspberry, You eat our produce, leafy vegetables, right? About 90 to 95 percent of leafy vegetables grown locally here on our island. And as beef is concerned, about 40 percent of beef is locally grown. That's a lot, you know. And plus, milk is 100 percent locally grown, you know. Also, we have 100 percent of papayas, bananas. And pineapple is all from here. And you know, all you know, it's looking like our melons, you know, whenever we can, our cantaloupes, our honeydew, our watermelons, it's all locally grown. And especially during Halloween, we try to bring in locally grown pumpkins. You know, local products grown here is important. Number two, local products that's manufactured here is important. You know, things that's made on this island is so important, like tofu or like we have some of our juice that's manufactured here uh, we have some pickles and stuff that's manufactured here because what happens is that all of the excess products or that leftover or surplus products or the grade B products are being able to put into a value added thing like kimchi right so kimchi for example you have Chinese cabbage right so we buy Chinese cabbage the leftover Chinese cabbage or the things that's over abundant we use it and make kimchi because there's this big word right now we learn sustainable right we want to all be sustainable because so, you know one day we all want to be able to make sure that we're not dependent on all these things that come from the mainland right each of our stores we have a little section that looks something like this we call it our local food section and again just like in our produce section this is an effort part of our effort to highlight and promote local products so we we have a lot of these products also in the regular section. So jelly will be in the jelly section. But we've also grouped them together so people who are looking for locally made products can come here and find them. In one half of our uh, section is local produce. If you look at the signs up here, we uh, use these green signs to designate local. And uh, we have separated all of our local produce in one half. Popcorn was made here. There's a lot of things that can be made here, even though the raw ingredient is all grown. And I think it's still important. Let's say something like popcorn. Even though we ship the popcorn in here uncooked, there's no reason to ship big bags of popcorn in here. If we pop it here, it's fresher. That added value gets added here. Someone here makes the money to do the work in the manufacture. And you know, it's it's less product that needs to be shipped here and more jobs that can be done here yeah. Even if the, the raw ingredients is not a place, there's still a lot of food production that can happen here in the island. That's all the product here called Lotus Gelato is made over in Kona. It's a non-dairy ice cream, so it's made from coconut milk and local fruits and flavors, local coffee, Local pineapple, local bananas, black nuts. Here again is another, this is a shelf of locally made items in our refrigerated section.
these are a few more locally made products. The, the, the tofu, the products made from tofu, the sauerkraut, the salsas. And as you see, we try to always put a Made in Hawaii um, sign to, to help identify products like this. When we have a local product, we do three things to help promote it. We'll give it a, a desirable shelf placement. We'll put it like sort of eye level so people see it. We'll put a sign in front of it saying Made in Hawaii so people can identify that as a local product. We also price it lower than we would if it was a mainland product. Uh -huh. So we're, do, we're giving that product every possible advantage. We feature all the locally made beers, again, with a sign that says Made in Hawaii with, it, with a low price. Lower price than it would be if it was a mainland product. I think that you know we have to learn to be concerned with our own health. And in terms of uh, the reasons to eat local, I think just the youth, just like the adults, need to be educated on the importance of that. You know, we need to we need to learn to realize that food that's grown or manufactured here benefits our economy. It's our brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles that get they're getting jobs. It wouldn't be here if the food wasn't made here. Um, there's also, you know, you're going to have a fresher product and you're going to have a higher quality product if you buy it from a local farmer or a local food manufacturer. I also think there's a little political thing where if you're only buying food from really large multinational corporations, there's one way of looking at it is though, every dollar you spend is kind of a vote. Who are you voting for? When you go into McDonald's, who are you voting for? You're voting for a big multinational corporation that doesn't really care about you. When you go into a local restaurant or buy food from a local market, you're voting with your dollars to support people who are living and working here in the market. A project for the last week of September for people who are eating local and so we're kind of like,